Hello and welcome back to the Cardboard Beatdown with Ogar and the Dude. I am playing, uh, I'm Ogar and I'm playing Reinar today. And I'm the Dude and I'm playing uh, Budget Briar. Could be a good time. Um, I really wanted to play more Reinar because I just got, i try to show these to the camera a little bit, but I just got these altars in the mail. Wow. Kind of see their... Uh, and these wow. full art, they still have the text boxes, but they're done so that they all kind of run together and form a complete set. Um, and that was done by Fry the Eggs, so I definitely recommend, um, if you want some super cool altars done, go to frytheeggs.com and uh, you can get custom art altars done. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, but... That's why I wanted to play Reinar, and um, I know you have been talking about doing some um, some budget builds, and um, what made you decide on Briar? I just saw the price is really high. I mean, I proxied Crown of Seeds, proxied Grasp. I, I, I actually opened the Spellbound Creepers, and I traded it for another uh, um, Tunic, and I traded that Tunic for um, the, the Guardian's Rampart of, of the Ramhead Shield because of the, just the cost basis um was too high and i wanted to um try out a budget build and see how it worked because again the the cost basis was just way out of um normal see um so my focus on this on this deck build in this video is to dry down the cost and drive up the quality of the interactions um and get away from playing mechanologist warrior and uh, guardians for some videos so let's see how this goes and um let's enjoy the ride sounds good to me um we can roll 2d6 if you're ready to do that see so guys on first or second. yeah i got five Roll a five as well. All right, let's try that again. Yeah. I got four. I rolled a four and a three. I rolled a seven total. All right, um, your choice. I'm going to uh, choose to play... Man, Reinar. I'm going to play second. Okay. Do, do your best. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If there's a hole. Uh, well, I'm going to start out by putting a counter on my team. Then, I think what I'm going to do actually. Well, because of the composition of this hand, I think my own choice here is Arsenal. Very exciting first turn. Very exciting, sir. Well, you have something a little bit more. In <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, tick to one. Tick to one here. Uh... Once per turn, create a rune chant token off grasp. Its ability cost an additional to activate for each rune chant you control. Go again. Okay. Um, the sand uh, licks the window. It's really bad. But <laughs> we uh, don't care about that. Uh, Break ground. When you attack the break ground, you may put a card from your arsenal on the bottom of your deck. If you draw a card, you don't have any card in arsenal. We're going to pitch for four. It costs three. One float. It comes in for seven. Um, it costs three. Uh, coming in for seven.
Mark three. Pass. A sink below reaction. Okay. Hard. Okay. That wasn't right. Any attack reaction? Nope. Personal and pass. Two. Then. I'm gonna roll gab scan. I got a f action. Okay. Use an action point to manable. I'm gonna. Block for three with uh, a red both of growth. All right, then with my action point again for three. Red using Block for three with a red stir the wirewood or the wildwood. Sorry. Okay. That one will end my. Okay. To you. We'll uh, tick to two. Um, tunic. Um, we'll uh, play yellow stir the wildwood from Arsenal. Um, we will. Uh, Pitch a yellow autumn's touch for two resources, and then we'll reveal a red autumn's touch to fuse. So it gives it plus two. What's the total attack? Total attack is six total. Uh, two and pass to reaction. I'll pass. Okay. Play another sink below. And I will. All right. So you take nothing. Okay. I'll buy on this card, clean this up, and then drop. Beginning of my turn, I will to three. Mm -hmm. okay. Breakneck battery plus two. So I'll pitch red, yellow, holding one. Mm -hmm. Discard a random card. The only card remaining is a massacre. So that will be two intimidate triggers. Okay. Uh, it's a five. You roll. Okay. 
Pixel we reroll. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, uh, I wish I was rolling scab skin. Uh, four. So the one closest to your graveyard. Yep. And then one, two, three. Uh, another six. Wow. I wish I was rolling scab skin. Um, yeah. So two that's coming in for six. Because the card I discarded was six power or more, breaknick battery gains go again. So it's coming in for six. Go. Block for five. Take one. Okay, no reaction. No reaction. And no reaction. then um, I'll use the tunic resource and the one floating. Swing a mandible claw for three. Okay. So let's technically have go again, but I don't have any cards in hand or. Okay. Block for two with grasp. Take one. My turn. Grasp gets a counter. Um, these go back to my hand. Six to three, one off, one resource point created. Bottoms touch red, um, cost three, pitch for three, pitch a yellow and a red, um, one float, uh, coming in for seven. Sorry, it costs three? Yeah. Pitch the yellow and a red. Yeah, so I don't need to pitch the red. Plus three, and you pitch the yellow, then you. Well, I had one resource flow from uh, Tunic. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, actually, I actually made that mistake myself. So. Pass. To de defense. On that. I'm so sorry. It's coming in for how much? Seven. Block for three. Attack reaction. Pass. Okay, I'll take four. All arsenal and pass. And then, uh, um, on on that attack, actually, uh, do you create an embodiment of Earth? I believe, right? Yes. Okay. Beginning of my turn. Okay. Counter on tunic. A savage swing. Paying with a red. Discard a random card. The only card in my hand is a beast with it. Uh, so I will lose one life. Banish the top card. Sand sketch plan. Lose one life. Banish the top card. That is a pulping. That will go to my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is coming in for six and one intimidate. Okay. Uh, the left. Yeah, this one? Yep. Yep. Okay. Six? Yep. Oh, Jesus.
I'll take six. Yeah. All right, and then I will arsenal this last super mm -hmm. secret mystery card. Yep. A four. <laughs> super secret mystery. Hilarious. Uh, take the one. Okay. Uh. Uh, this breaks. Um, didn't get used. All right, we're gonna try, try to do some things. Uh, Weave Earth Yellow. Next Earth or Elemental Attack action. You uh, card you play this turn gets plus two. If it's fused, it gets plus three and said go again. Um, so then what we're gonna do is. We will play Stir the Wildwood from Arsenal. It's a red. Costs two. And what will we will we'll pay with a blue evergreen? Um, and then uh, we have one float. And we will fuse it with a red evergreen. And that is coming in for three plus two plus five, which is ten. Yes, sir. You can. Two cards in hand. So I'm going to six. All right. You take four. Okay. And then I'm going to arsenal and pass. Okay. And you will get an embodiment. Of okay. That is nice. Then. Awakening Bella, pitching a. Sorry, I took the. With the Awakening Bella, so it does intimidate. Okay. Last one, and fours every time. Okay. Um, so that's. Uh, Plus one to my next brute attack action card. Then from Arsenal, I two floating. Then I'll draw a discard, draw Russian Beat Town, unfortunately. Intimidate. So that is coming in for seven. Block for three plus one. Which is four. Take three. Take two. Um, clean that up. Let's see here. Clean this up. 
Weave Earth Red. The next Earth or Elemental attack action card you play this turn gets plus three. If it's fused, it gains plus four. Go again. Um, we will play in Twine Earth. Yellow from Arsenal. It costs two. Fused, it gets plus two and it attacks for five. We'll pitch a, a Yellow Weave Earth. And then we'll fuse it with a um, Evergreen Red. So it'll get uh, four, two, plus five is 11. Big attacks. Um, I'm going to take a risk here, and I am going to take 11. Okay. I'm going to Arsenal and pass. Okay. Get an embodiment of Earth. Our, our embodiment of Earth is on the board. And then I'm going to draw four and pass. All right. Tunic to three. Tunic to create a resource. Oh, I have one floor. Hold on, hold on. Back up. Before I use the tunic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll scab skin. Okay, we got four, so that's two action points. Use the tunic to create a resource. Then I'm going to use one of my action points to play a smash instinct. Pitching yellow. That plus the tunic resource. Then go intimidate. Okay. Uh, the last one, four every time. Okay. There's a different dice here, and it's still just rolling four every time. Um, okay. So that is coming in for six. One action point remaining, two cards in hand. A block for two. Okay. Take four. Take four. Go to 25. This breaks. This gets a counter. Okay. Right, with action point, we'll win for another. Massacre being a blue. Fortunately, I have not discarded hard this turn. Yeah, it's coming. Man, I gotta go to 19. Take six. My turn. I'll pass to you. Uh, okay. Beginning a turn, tick to three on tunic, create a resource. Be interesting. See how this works out here. This gets busted. Um, Ramble Spark Red. Uh, the next attack card you play this turn whenever when you attack this. With the next action card you play this turn gains when you attack this. With this, deal one arcane damage to target hero. 
if it was fused, uh, the next attack action card you play this turn gets plus three go again. We're gonna fuse it with an autumn's touch, cost zero. Um, go again, and then what we'll do is play another bramble spark. We'll fuse it. Um, go again. Then what we'll do is uh, we'll play. Sir, the Wildwood Blue, um, it costs two, so we'll pitch Autumn's Touch. Um, so we have two and zero resources float, so um, it's not fused, but we fused these two, so it's plus six. So we're coming in uh, six plus three is nine total. Two arcane. Two arcane, sir. Yes. I will take the two arcane. Okay. Block for one and pass. I'll pass. A fake for C. Put on bottom. Okay. Attack reaction. No attack reaction, sir. Okay, and get another fate for C. Lucky. Two cards in hand. Okay. Is that that resolves you take uh I believe no damage, correct? Correct. I'm blocking none. Okay. Then uh, I'm gonna clean this up and pass. All right. Beginning of my okay. turn, I will tunic. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, turn. Oh, and okay. Pick to one. Uh, question. Can I play Crown of Seeds once per turn instant, um, even if I don't take damage? Because it, all it costs is a resource. Yeah, you can do it any time. Return as an instant. Okay. I won't do it this turn, but we'll do Entwine Earth from Hand. We'll pitch um, uh, two reds. It costs two. Um, we'll fuse it with an earth action. Um, so tomorrow blue. So it's coming in for six plus two is eight. One card in hand, one card in arsenal. Two? Mm hmm Action. No reactions. Okay. Okay. All right. Take two. Um, all right. I'm going to pass. Get an item in Okay. I'll trigger. Okay. 
Det kommer i 2022. Okay. I'm gonna play a Blood Rush Bellow, switching to blue. Okay. Here we go. Random card from hand. The right one. It's a breakneck battery, so it is six power. So that will put uh that will intimidate. Okay. And then after this that uh draw two trigger triggers, right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, a four again every time. That's insane. Uh, I mean, we should be playing Varia. <laughs> yeah. All right. Draw two off of that. Then what we'll do? Mandible Claw for five go again using my two. Okay. Block for three plus one. What are you blocking with? Blocking with uh, rights of replenishment. That's just Red. three, right? Plus the embodiment error. That's only for non-attack action. Oh, this is an attack action. Oh, I see. For three. You're right. Okay, so you take two. Take two. Then I'll swing with a man claw, pitching a blue, floating one. Coming in for five, go again. Mm. I'll take five. Okay. Got you at twelve. Yes, sir. Then, with my last uh, loading resource, play a savage swing, discard a random card in hand okay okay three and three second one mm -hmm. which again i drew a, i rolled a four that's uh, i keep drawing fours on that but anyway this is coming in for eight big eight go to four All right, that will an end my turn. Pass to you. What a slap in the face there, sir. That was a phenomenal Blood Rush Bellow turn. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, that's unlike, unlike I've seen in a while. So. All right, I'm going to try to do some things. We're going to take to two. And then... Earth Force Surge for um, plus three on the next uh, attack action you play this turn. Pitch uh, Soto Soto tomorrow, one float. Um, then what we'll do is pitch for three, one float, evergreen. From Arsenal, if Evergreen is played from Arsenal, put it on the bottom of your deck when the combat chain closes. Um, it attacks for 10 total, and I cost 3, 1 float, but I don't have anything else to play, so just coming in for 10. Okay. Um... Going to pass to Reactions? Mm, yeah, uh, I have no re reactions to play. Go ahead. I'll take 10. 
Jeez. All right. Pass. Close game now, sir. Yeah, I got the embodiment of Earth there. And uh, pick that uh, tunic up to three. Mm hmm. I'm going to use the tunic resource. Play in blue awakening bellow. Mm -hmm. Next brute attack action card you play this turn gains plus power. Intimidate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Reroll uh, one. Mm -hmm. And I am going to play a blue barraging beatdown, which will also. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And a, a pack hunt pitching a yellow. That is coming in for six, eight, nine. Welcome to the dead zone. Black for three. Go to dead. <laughs> man, that was a slug fest. Yeah, man, I like this. I like this, like this silly list. It's super silly. It feels like I'm playing brutes. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of huge attacks. Yeah. Um, I drew the win too, and uh, it was like. Two pump spells and two other blue cards. Uh, one, one, one of them was a Fulminate, so... This is really enjoyable. I thought this deck would just suck. I thought it would just be terrible. But it's not that bad. The one thing that we actually missed that I didn't think about at the time, and I'm just realizing now, that turn that you play two Bramble Sparks, you should have gotten an Embodiment of Lightning, so your attack after that would have had go again. Oh, cool. So, yeah, did not realize it at the time. Obviously, we're just playing a casual game here, but um, yeah, definitely something that we should have uh, noticed and made sure to, to properly and something that we try to do correctly in the future. But, yeah, sometimes, you know, it happens where triggers are missed and things like that, but overall, I think that was a really fun game. Um, I enjoy playing Reinar. Um, I tried to play him a little differently than I normally play him. Usually, I try to play him extremely aggressively uh, for this game i tried to go a little more defensively which is why i had the you know the sink belows and fate for scenes in there of which i saw quite a few um yeah so i just thought that gave me an opportunity to kind of be a little more patient and wait for the, the big turns and take them when they came like that blood rush bellow turn worked out really really well yeah that that was awesome you got to intimidate a bunch and yeah, those bl those blood rush bellow turns are just nasty. That slapped me. I think I was at nineteen. You got me down to four. So you did fifteen damage. Plus I blocked three or something like that. Yeah, it was an eighteen damage turn. Yep, because I did the two claws for five each, so that's ten. I came in with a savage feast, or excuse me, a savage swing. Eight. So yeah, it was eighteen damage that I presented on. Um, which, you know, there are, it is possible to get a bigger turn off of Blood Rush Bellows, but not much. Yeah, I mean, you can go, like, somehow go again, go again, Alpha Rampage, I guess, or, like... Right, yeah, or, like, if I had rolled the Scab Skin and, like, had a card in Arsenal that I could play or something like that. But beyond that, I still think that was a really, really good turn. I felt yeah, great. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, yeah. Great, great set lineup, and it all came together for you. Um, so, uh, kind of changing topics here. In our next video, we're going to play some common, and we're going to yeah. give away a, uh, like Olgar was saying, we're going to give away a commoner deck. We're going to figure out how to get that to you, and um, and things like that. So, look for the next video, and uh, that's all I have for today. Yeah, I want to say yeah. thanks everybody for hanging out with us here on the cardboard beatdown. Hopefully you've enjoyed our flesh and blood gameplay videos like today and 
I've also been doing some Varia gameplay videos, which hopefully uh, people enjoyed as well and uh, get interested in that game. And more than happy to play games with anybody that wants to on that game. And yeah, so thanks everybody for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching. Take it easy.